So the final thing we will do is weighted average cost of capital. Some books, they call it WAC. Now, when your capital structure has equity, debt, and preferences, if you issue all those securities, what is the average? So how do we find the average? Because all these all this three forms your total capital structure. So the question is, how do we find the average of all these three forms of capital structure? And that is what we call the weighted average cost of capital. Good. So weighted average cost of capital aggregates the cost of individual types of finance used to fund a firm's asset to provide an overall cost of capital for the firm. A simple average does not reflect the importance of each source of funds in the capital of the firm. Weighted average therefore provides an, an overall cost of capital that reflects significance of each source of funds. Okay. All that we are saying is that here, we can do cost of debt. Cost of, so we can do cost of debt into bracket one minus tax. So that's like the final, the after tax cost of debt plus cost of equity plus cost of preferred, preferred stock and divide by three. It is not right. You can't do this and say that's the average. The reason why this is not right is that maybe the total market value okay maybe the total market the value of your debt maybe the value of debt the total market value of debt may be let's say three billion cities your equity the total market value be let's say 100 million and then for preferences Let's say the total market value is let's say 300 million. Now, this means that whenever we are finding that we, we have to pay attention to the like the total market value of your total debt, total market value of your total equity, total market value of your total preferences. We have to pay attention to their value. So when you find a simple average, you are invariably telling us that all of them have the same value, but that is not the case. So always we find a weighted average and we use their values as their weight or their relative importance. And the emphasis is on market value, not book value. Okay, all right. So let's look at this question. Let's compute the weighted average cost of capital assuming a tax rate of 35%. And always please, the tax rate is brought for you to find after tax cost of debt. That's why they bring tax rate. It's normally used for after tax cost of debt. So the market value of your equity is 35 million. Oh, no, no, no. Equity ordinary shares is 50 million. Preference shares, 15. Debt. 35 million. So it means that the total value of your business, 35 plus 15 plus 50, I think that would be 100 million. So the importance or the weight of, let's say, debt, the weight of your debt or the importance of your debt will be the value of debt over the total value of the firm. That would be 35 over. 100 and that would be 0 0.35. So the weight shows the relative importance of that item. And when we are finding the, the average cost of capital, we have to employ their weights, all right? So let me give you the formula for weighted average cost of capital, the work. So weighted average cost of capital is equal to equity over total value to so equity over total value is what the cost of equity sorry the, the the weight of equity times the cost of equity plus preference shares over total value times the cost of preference shares plus debt over total value 
times the cost of debt into bracket one minus tax, because we have to always find after tax cost of debt. So in this question, in this question, the ordinary shares or the value, the market value of equity was 50, okay? So it will be 50 over the total value 100. And the question gave the cost of equity to be 13%. So times 13% plus preference shares. The total market value of preference shares was 15 million. So 15 over the total value of the firm, which is 100. And then the cost of preference shares was 9%. Okay, so the value of debt. is 35 million. The question gave all this information here. The value of debt, 35. Preference shares, 15. Ordinary shares, 50. If you add them, you get a total value of the firm. And the question has given your cost. The cost of debt is 7%. And then the value of debt is 35. So we have 35 over 100 times 7%. But remember, we always find after tax cost of debt. So one minus the tax rate. The tax rate is 35%, so one minus 0 So if I were you, I'll punch it one by one. 